I'm Hayden Larson alongside Erin Brown, who is tonight's player of the match. She's already been awarded with the Mural Winery Award, player of the match. Erin, congratulations. Thank you. This is your second win in your inaugural season, and it was a fight. You were down two goals early. Talk to us about how your team battled back. I think we knew going into half that we should be well ahead in that game. We had some really good chances early on. We were building out of the back well. We were keeping the ball in the midfield. All of coaching Ben, coaching Ben, Coach Ben's talking points. So we felt really good going to half despite the scoreline, and we knew the goal was coming. And once the first one came, you just saw that the kind of spirit changed, and we got three back really quickly. So. Well, you're just in this inaugural season, several games in now. You have been a fixture of the defense for this team. And yet, you scored the game-tying goal. What went through your mind? How did that happen? I really wanted to get a shot off this game. It's been something I've been trying to work on, like um, making myself a bigger offensive threat. So the ball came out to me about 30 yards out, and I said, I'm going to take a chance. So it worked out this time. Talk to us about the philosophy. You, you have some offensive freedom to move around the field, and you still recover on the defensive side. Talk to us about the game plan for you personally. So naturally I'm a six or an attacking midfielder. Um, I just recently this game made the transition to center back. So I'm really comfortable, I think, higher up the field. And I'm real I know Blythe, who was the six this game, who played fantastic, as all well. She's a natural center back, so we were really easy with the switch. We've been doing it the opposite way most of the season. So I knew I had the freedom to step up and she was gonna cover for me. So it's just kind of team chemistry at that point and knowing that Blythe is so comfortable and competent back there. So. Well, you have two more games. What do you expect from those final two games in this regular season of your inaugural season? They're against La Mirinda, a team we haven't seen yet. Um, they're going to be good. They're always good. But I think we are just really hitting our peak. It's really a shame we only have two games left. Um, we're really just finding our team chemistry. You could have seen it at practice on Monday. You're seeing it in the game. So I think there's a lot coming from this team, not just in the last two games, but in the years to come. So I'm really excited. Two more games in the regular season, and then maybe more. Aaron Brown is tonight's player of the match in a very important win for 1839. Aaron, congratulations. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. <laughs>Grace, great performances from both goalkeepers, Juliana Alexander in the first half, you in the second. Talk to us, what do you make of the performance as a unit and then yourself uh, as a keeper? Um, like I think this is one of the best um, team performances we've had all season. Um, every game I think we get better. And coming into halftime down 2-0, uh, we knew that we had some work to do. And switching goalkeepers is not always easy like, on the team, you know, there's different dynamics. So um, just making sure that you know we transition smoothly and that, you know, we took care of business and we were able to, you know, man the final third. Was really well, objectively, Juliana Alexander had a good half despite the two goals. One of the goals was spectacular for, for Davis. Uh, you do come in, in in the second half. You mentioned that's difficult. What is it like coming in, not having played in the first half and playing in the second, coming in maybe a little cold? Yeah, I mean, it's always hard because you never know what the game's going to be like or, you know, the tempo or the speed or you have to kind of adjust to the players while, you know, everyone else on the field has already had a whole half to figure out the other team and, you know, they figure out the tempo and how everyone plays. So I definitely had to adjust quickly, but I mean... Um, not to mention you're down two goals already, so there's not much room to maneuver with. Yeah, and you can't allow a goal. Sure. You know, I just really wanted to make sure that I kept the ball out of the net, and that's my main goal. So, um, yeah, I was happy to do that for the most part. They, you know, they had a good shot. It was another great strike. I mean, you know, yeah. it, it happens. Yeah. Uh, one more question. You grew up in the Napa area. What is it like playing for your hometown club? Oh, man. This is, um, I never thought women's soccer, you know, soccer itself in Napa was not uh, the most developed growing up. So I ended up playing outside of Napa a lot. But growing up in Napa and um, going to Napa High and just kind of watching how the, the soccer is developed in Napa is just an absolute mind blowing. And I'm just, I've never been more proud to be from Napa. And you know, coming back home and being able to play for this great program, it's just, I never would have imagined it. It's just been amazing. Well, it is 1839 women's team inaugural season. They get their second win, thrilling contest here against FC Davis. And Grace Landis was a big part of that. Grace, congratulations. Thank you. Eighteen thirty nine coach Ben Solomon. Coach, it is the second win of your inaugural season. Yep. You put it took you only had two weeks to put this team together and now you are starting to see the results. 
positive results for this team. Talk to us about your performance tonight. Yeah, really happy with our performance. Uh, we, we've been focusing on the, on the same process throughout. Uh, it takes time for us to find those principles and understand and find our flow as a team. Um, but we were really hitting our rhythm over the last couple of games. Uh, I felt we should have got a better result in the last game too. So really happy to come out here and get the win. Talk to us about how you secured this win, even though you went into halftime down 2 nothing. Yeah, I think my overwhelming message at halftime was about belief. Um, keep believing in anything can happen. Um, looking at that half, it really felt like we should have gone in um, at least tied, if not winning. Um, so maintaining that belief, getting an early goal, and then going ahead and, and putting the pressure on and, get, and getting, getting the win. Talk to me quickly about your goalkeepers on the team. You played two different goalkeepers in the half and both played well. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Really happy. Uh, we've been rotating the goalkeepers. Uh, last week, Grace started and then Judy did the second half. This week, the other way around. Uh, they're both very capable, so they both deserve to be on the field, hence the reason um, that they both get a chance. And we have a third goalkeeper that's been great as well. That's right. Yeah. Sam Lenteo also yeah. playing very well at goalkeeper. Exactly. Well, coach, we have to talk about Erin Brown. She was the player of the match this evening. Talk to us about her performance tonight. So she, she's been amazing all season. Um, we wanted someone that was a little bit uh, more disciplined in the back and, and to be composed playing out of the back. Um, and she did an excellent job, hence the reason she got herself Lady of the Match. So really happy with her performance. Absolutely. Congratulations to Aaron Thank Brown and all the players and you coach as Thank well. You. Getting the second win for 1839 in this inaugural season, a very special season. Coach Ben Solomon, congratulations. Thank you.